I, I want to I want to commend you for something. You brought up before the season that this is it because it's it's every other year. You brought up that JJ Watt will not play nearly the amount of plays that he did last season for the Texans uh, for the Cardinals this year, and you. Turned out to be a hundred percent right because JJ Watt is now out for the season after having shoulder surgery. He played through the injury uh, last Sunday, and once they went in, did a little research, figured it out, and whatnot, they revealed he will have to have surgery, and he is donezo, donezo for the season. One, this is really no surprise to you, I would I would imagine. And and what are your nope. thoughts on it? Uh, I mean, J.J. Watt is a really good player when he can play football. Every other year for the last decade, J.J. Watt has been an amazing football player. The year after that year, he has been less than useless to a team. Now, he's been beneficial up to this point. That's awesome. He's one of the reasons they're undefeated. That's great. But is he worth all that money? Is he worth the trade? That, 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 I, don't, I think he just signed on the trade. Anyway. Is he, is he worth the assets you had to give up to get him if he's not going to play the remainder of the season? Or we have more than half the season left. Yeah, yeah, we've only gotten through seven games. There are 17 this season, so... Yeah, 10 more to go, and and I just, I just wonder how do football guys not look at patterns like that and take them into account? I think some people would tell you that they, you can't bank on injuries, uh, but I, I feel like you and I disagree. You absolutely yeah. can. Yeah, I think that you can set your damn watch by it. Yes, well, especially this, like so. Part of this article over at ESPN said Watt had recently found his groove in the Cardinals' defense after needing about four games to both get his football legs under him after missing all of training camp because of hamstring injury and getting acclimated to a new defense. It said he had 10 so tackles. It took him four games to get his legs up, but so he was worthless for first four. Yep. He played in three. He was really good in those three. Well, the last one, he was really good in two. The last one, he only played about, I don't know, a third of the snap because he was playing through the injury and he got hurt. So, like, you know. Oh, good. I, That's, it, I, mean, if you, I, I, I don't can... take joy in the fact that the guy got hurt. It's just one of those things that I find – I just find it interesting. You like call everybody it. told everybody told me the Browns should sign him because he was looking at Cleveland, and I was like, "No, they shouldn't sign him next year. Sign him, somebody sign him to a one year deal, and then Cleveland can sign him next year on a deal because he's going to come off an injury. He's going to come cheap. He's going to, you know, all this stuff, and he'll be better." Yes, uh, his stats thus far: he had ten tackles, including five tackles for loss, uh, had one sack this season, and. He he finished with ten quarterback hits in the first seven games, yeah. but nine in the last four. So he only had uh, one quarterback hit in the first three games, and he's had nine in the past four games. So yep. uh, you know, once well, he finally he got going, he has been awesome. He has been awesome. I was I was wondering when it was going to happen because I, I I did see his stats a couple weeks ago, and I was like, man, I, I'm I'm going to look bad. I, I, I shit on him before the season started. He's kind of killing it. Yeah. And, and then it was just, okay, now it's over. Oh, okay, we just pulled the ripcord. It's ball game now. All right. Well. <laughs> now, there it is. There it is. Now he's done. So, yeah, so J.J. Watt out for the season with shoulder surgery. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.